What's up guys, back with another quick video. Um, I thought I'd do a quick tip one here on uh, one of the new features that I've kind of overlooked with Groove Agent 5 is that they've added the ability to use the Acoustic Agent Style Player with Beat Agent kits. So to demonstrate that, um, because it's not necessarily going to sound good by default because the Beat Agent kits aren't mapped the same, um, you really have to kind of do the groundwork yourself. So what I've done is I've uh, basically loaded a multi-sampled Yamaha kit which I had in my sample library. And um, the way I did that was in my browser here, so say this is all of the uh, floor toms, you could just drag that to where you want the floor tom and you want to use this top, top option here and uh, make sure that they're on the velocity setting, it will map them all to uh, the velocity and you've got to make sure they're in the correct order obviously and then uh, make sure it's on velocity. You can also layer multiple samples on uh, one, one pad or select it to round robin or randomly choose one. So that's what I did, and I made sure, loading up an acoustic agent kit, that I was mapping the drum hits to the correct places. Now there's a few missing, I haven't fully completed it. Um, I think I will, because you know, then you can start dragging and dropping different drum hits on here, and just creating your own kits that you can use the style player with. Now you could do it with a non-multi-sample drum kit, but um, the, in the intensity slider wouldn't really do much other than changing the volume. It's not going to change the actual drum hits getting triggered. So let's demonstrate it. I'm going to uh, close out of the browser here and then um, in the pattern library for this, let's load up something from the style player. Um, oh, yeah, let's sorry, let's switch it to the style player first. And uh, yeah, let's try maybe acid jazz. I'll put the auto fill on every four bars and change the complexity every four bars. Set it somewhere here, and we'll just loop it through. And yeah, you have to do the groundwork yourself because the acoustic agent kits won't allow you to uh, drag and drop different drum hits onto these. They're, com they're, they're kind of uh, stuck to this kit. So you'd, you'd have to create one using the same mapping. But then once we've got that, we could then start going through different drum hits here and just like dropping them on instead. And, you know, it's, there's infinite possibilities there for creating your own kits that can be triggered with all of the complex drumming styles, like even the Simon Phillips ones. So, you know, that's, that's a quick tip, something I wasn't uh, aware of, and, uh, you know, something fun to play with. I think I'm going to finish mapping out this, uh, this drum map here and completely mimic some of the kits in the Acoustic Agent, so then uh, with, with some other acoustic drum samples I have, and, you know, create some different sounding kits. You could maybe even do it chopping up an Amen or something like that and map it so you could like use the style player to play the Amen that would be kind of interesting but anyway yeah there it is uh, one of the new features of Groove Agent 5 um, I, th I think it could be quite a fun one but you know at face value I'll demonstrate some, demonstrate what I mean here if we load up a beat agent kit from one of the presets um, you know even an Alan Morgan kit it probably isn't going to be mapped right um, Let's go to the kits here. Uh, 
you know, let's maybe just do like, yeah, a vintage kit and then uh, let's try to trigger it with the style player and see what happens. Yeah, I mean it's you know it's not the same at all. Um, so yeah, that's that's something else to try out. Um, I'm probably going to be playing with it a bit, trying to create my own acoustic kits that I can use with the uh, style player. So there you go. There's the first kind of quick tip. Um, hope it was helpful. Peace out, guys.